up girls? Bella? Okay. That's Christmas. That's the elves. Santa Claus. Elves. You get so many weird looks from people when you're exercising outside of a gym. Enough to make you feel kind of uncomfortable. Whoa. What'd you catch? A skeleton. A skeleton? <laughs> From the outside looking in, I probably look like some fitness obsessed freak who just needs to get his exercise fix even while he's on vacation. So there's a few reasons I'm doing this. The first one is I just like doing this, so I'm going to. Uh, but the next reason is to really prove to myself that I can enjoy my life and do things like this, go camping for a few days with my family and not totally throw my routine in the trash or just drop my pack meaning I can get decent sleep, I can eat my normal foods, and I can train while I'm still on vacation. Um, you know, rather than saying, well, going on vacation, so I'm just gonna sit around, eat potato chips and dip all day and smash a six pack of beer. So this is just to prove to myself that I can have some balance, I can still train, you know, even though I'm going on this vacation, rather than saying, sorry, babe, can't go, I'm training for nationals, have to sit around and rest and recover all day. I did, I did. Oh, you're getting the fishy out. Next reason I'm doing this is more performance based. I don't like taking three or four days off from the gym. I don't rest for three or four days and then get back to the gym on Monday feeling rested and recovered and energized. In fact, the opposite happens when I take three or four days off the gym, which I really don't anymore. I feel slow and sluggish getting back to the gym and it takes a few days to get the ball rolling again. And I've tried not to nocebo myself and tell me, you know, tell myself that, but it just, it happens every time it seems like. And so by breaking up that three or four day off with some training and some capacity, I feel much better on Monday when I come back in the gym. Are you ready? I'm ready. Some all natural techie. So the structure for these workouts is almost always the same. I'm fortunate enough that I have some heavy dumbbells I can bring, but um, if you have a heavy chunk of iron or a rock, it doesn't really matter. But I'll always do some sort of bend. Um, today was Romanian deadlifts. I'll do some sort of leg exercise. Today's dumbbell squats. I might do goblet squats. Um, usually some sort of upper body. So I'll do uh, shoulder press. Today's a push press. Or sometimes I'll do body weight stuff. Squat jumps, push ups. If I can find something to do pull ups on, I'll do that. And then I'll almost always do some sort of cardio. I'm going to do some bike sprints. Um, but I've went on a jog. I've just done uh, sprints in the sand, whatever I can to get my heart rate up. And that's usually the structure of all these workouts. What's that? How much did you weigh? 1,000 pounds. Yeah. That's a good looking cheeseburger, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs>